And welcome to Theatre Talk Boston. Today we're joined by Miss Jen Cody, who plays Dottie in Noises Off, playing now through August 17th at the Cape Playhouse. Hi, Jen. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hey. Hey, Kobe. It's good to be here. <laughs> um, so you just opened this monster of a show this past Wednesday, and I was there, uh-huh. and I loved it so much. It's one of my favorite plays, so I never miss an opportunity to see it. Um, how have the performances been going so far? Um, so far, so good. You know, it's it's funny. The feedback that we're getting is, it's it's a hard time right now in our in our country. I think there's a lot of um, anxiety and fear and everything. So people have been so excited to come to this play because you truly do laugh for two and a half hours straight. And right. um, I think it takes people out of you know any any chaos they leave at the door and they and they come in and they have a good time so it, it's nice to be on the stage and hear just belly laughing right. from people well th- you certainly heard me Wednesday night because I was just <laughs> laughing so much um what was your first experience with this show I know it's been on Broadway three times um since it was created back in the 80s but uh did you see it have you always known you wanted to be a part of it well, it's so funny. Um, I had two uh, experiences with it that were um, very important. The first one, I was in high school, and my high school drama club went to New York and saw shows every summer. Mm-hmm. And this was one of the shows that um, we had seen, and no one knew what it was at this time. This right. was the original one. And um, two things I learned in that production, I sat in the audience, and I had never experienced um, people laughing en masse in a room before. Um, And then one of the actresses on the stage uh, was, I don't don't know if the listeners know, but it's a play inside of a play. Yes. And she was playing an actress and she came on stage and was doing mirror exercises with herself in the window. And I remember (laughs) thinking, oh my gosh, I'm sure that probably wasn't in the play. That's a bit. (laughs) It was like my first experience of realizing what a bit was. Right. Um, and then in college, they did it. I was a freshman, and I made the cactus. That was my big claim Aww. to fame in college. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, uh, going off that, um, tell me about the rehearsal process for this show, just because it's so intricate. Or well, before we go, that what is tell our listeners what the show's about. <laughs> okay, so noises off is. Um, it's a, a three-act play, basically. And in the first act, you meet um, a group of actors who are putting on uh, a, a farce, a bedroom farce, and you are seeing their final night of rehearsal, and they're opening the next day. And they, they're they not really ready. Let's just say that. Right. So you, you realize in the first act, like, people have quirks. Some people can't remember their lines. Some There's, there's going to be problems. Then a month later, you see... Uh, the same play, but you see it from backstage. And after a month of being together, there's been some arguments and fights, and it has caused a lot of chaos. And you hear the play going on. We actually do the play facing the wall. Right. Um, but you see what's going on backstage. And then in the third act, you see uh, right when the play is closing. And it's, we've been on tour together, and you see the play again in what it has become. <laughs> For sure. Um, and so, for those who don't know, it's a crazy show that is so intricate and the blocking, you just have to be so on point. So, and for those who also don't know, um, Cape Playhouse, like you don't have a lot of time to rehearse these shows. You only spend about two weeks down in Manhattan. So, how did you put up this whole show and learn everything so perfectly in such a short time frame? Well, um, <laughs> I, I would say it's perfect. I think that's the, the fun part of doing it is it's always a challenge because right. um, there are nine of us on stage and everybody, it, all of our timing has to be so in sync for it all to work. And so inevitably something does happen and you have to find a way to cover it. So it is very exciting on stage. Um, the rehearsal process is really crazy. I've done a lot of shows here at the Cape and you always have two weeks of rehearsal. Right. Um, but this one, because we didn't have our set um, in New York, we were just had the set taped out on the floor. Mm-hmm. And the set is actually a character in the play because sure. we we go up and down stairs and we uh, have doors that have to slam at a certain time and then doors have to not work and sometimes they do work. And all of that stuff we kind of pretended until we got here and we had two days to actually create the timing of these things that we had been doing 
in the room that completely changed. So in a way, we kind of learned it in two days. That's <laughs> crazy. It's insane. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and then watching you all as a cast, at least for me, it just seemed that you're all having so much fun up there. Um, plus, you also have the great Heidi Gardner from SNL playing Brooke. Yeah. Um, what is it like getting to work with all of them every night? It's amazing. Um, I, I, you know, this show in particular, everybody is so important to keep the ball in the air is like what we say. Right. And so it makes you in a way close very fast because you are, it's like a trust exercise. You're like, we're all going out there. We all have to hold each other up. Um, so we get really close and it's so fun to create with other comedians because every all the rehearsals someone would do something and then we would just laugh for a long time <laughs> and then we would do it again and someone else would make you laugh so there was a lot of laughter in the room right i oh i can only imagine uh, do you have a favorite <laughs> part of the show that you get to do every night um you know um there's a part where i have to recreate some sound effects mm -hmm. um and i never know what the actor who's doing them is going to do <laughs> So that's always fun for me because I have to listen to it and then recreate it. And it's, he does on purpose, completely different every night. Yeah. So um, that's probably exciting. I like that part. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, now, if my counting is correct, I believe this is your 13th show with the Cape Playhouse. What is it so is. special and like what do you love so much about this theater that keeps you coming back? I'm, I'm a bit of an old soul, I think. Mm -hmm. um, from, I worked here the first time, I think, in 2007. And um, the minute I walked backstage, for anyone who's been to the, the Playhouse, the Playhouse itself is beautiful. But backstage, they have um, all the posters of the people that came before you. So from floor to ceiling are these old um, shows I've never even heard of right. that played on the Cape. And... Um, People that I have looked up to and have you know watched and learned from have been here, and so I, that to me, I, I'm always thrilled. I can't believe that I'm on the stage or in the dressing room, thinking like, "Oh, Nancy Walker sat right here," and uh, these people that are just so important to me and what I do. So that's a huge component of it is the history of the the theater, and then it's on a beach. <laughs> like that's. <laughs> Another thing, it's like I come out of the city in the summer and I get to do really good work with good people. I get to be a part of this history and I get to go to the beach every day. So <laughs> it's all good. Win-win. For sure. Do you have, I know you must have so many, do you have a favorite memory of a show you've done here? Someone just asked me that. I think um, I did a show maybe four years ago called um, Last of the Red Hot Lovers. Mm -hmm. And it was um, a Neil Simon play. Right. And... I was I was going to play, there was three women in the play, and I was going to play one woman, and um, they called, and they said, would you want to play all three? And I, I was like, well, I'm terrified, but yes. <laughs> and um, that, to me, is probably my favorite memory here, because it was so hard and fulfilling and creative, and right. um, it probably is one of my favorite things I've done in my career. That's awesome. And uh, talking yeah. about your career, uh, growing up, did you always know you wanted to become an actress? I did. I didn't know it was a job. Sure. Um, I, my mom tells a story. I, I guess I was four years old, and I was in a church play, and I was playing um, uh, one of the animals in Noah's Ark. And my, we rehearsed months, and all I had to do was, like, walk up the aisle and get on the ark with my, my friend in two, you know, two by two. Yep. <laughs> and I was a duck. And she said the night of the performance, I started walking up the aisle and I turned and I was looking at everyone. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, I just started quacking. <laughs> I just decided, why am I not quacking? Um, so that was kind of it. They um, kind of knew after that. <laughs> amazing. And of course, looking at your uh, resume, you've just done so many great roles and so many great shows. What, two part question Do you have a dream role you haven't tackled yet? And part two, is there a role that you've already tackled that you'd love to revisit now? Huh. Wow. Um, I, th mm, I think probably my dream role hasn't happened yet, mm -hmm. hopefully. Right. Like, I, I would love someone, like, when I did Sylvia, um, I did Sylvia the play last year, that to me was, 
I want someone to write a play like that, where you get to have a wide range of emotions. You get to do physical comedy. Um, yeah, so hopefully someone's out there writing a play right now <laughs> that I hopefully will do. Um, I, you know, I've played Adelaide in Guys and Dolls before. Mm-hmm. I, that's one I would love to revisit. Um, I did a, a show in New York called The Wild Party. Mm-hmm. That's one I would love to revisit. Oh. That was very quick. They need um, to bring that back. I know we just had an encore, right? but we need a full production. <laughs> yeah, and I, I love doing Urin Town. Urin Town was one of my favorite experiences. So, right. oh, such a great show. Um, and then finally, one question that we ask all of our guests, and I know you just answered this on the Instagram story I was watching, but I was wondering if you could tell us a fun onstage mishap story where something has gone terribly wrong or some crazy <laughs> anecdote you have. I have so many. Um, <laughs> Gosh, I'm trying to think of uh, the one I told on the Instagram story uh, had to do with you're in town. Right. Um, but here, I'll tell another you're in town one, which was kind of funny. Amazing. So you're in town was a show that took place in um, uh, the future when we had to pay to drink water. That's right. basically, and we have to pay to go to the bathroom. Um, that's the general premise of the play. Mm-hmm. Um, but we did it in what's now called the Stephen Sondheim Theater in New York, but at the time was called the Henry Miller. And it was um, very old. I think it, it had gone from being a theater to like a disco. <laughs> to it, it was disgusting. <laughs> and um, like the, the original carpet, I think, was in there. It, oh, it, was, a, it was a pit. So um, we did the show there, and it was perfect for this show because it was of kind course. of the end of days. <laughs> And um, the audience would come and watch the show and think that, oh, this is this was built like this for this <laughs> show, when in fact it was not. Um, so one night, we this was after we had opened, and um, our spot operators would sit above the audience um, on these, like, towers. And we started Act 2, and our spot op just was not feeling well. And he, he vomited <gasps> over the audience. And he, he just, did, it came up. He didn't know what to do. He just vomited. And the audience didn't react because <laughs> they thought it was part of the show. And so our company manager had to go, like, we were going up and down the aisle, like, something is bad. And so our, our company manager had to go out and ask the audience, could you please come backstage? And they, like, cleaned them off and gave them bathrobes and stuff. But that was one of the funniest things that ever happened. Oh, my God. Gosh, that's wild. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you're very busy and have a show in just a few hours, so break a leg yes. tonight. Um, oh, and thank everyone you so much. should definitely go see Noises Off playing at the Cape Playhouse until August 17th. Uh, tickets at capeplayhouse.com. You can also get a $25 student rush all season long that they just implemented this year, which is great. Thank you so Yay. much for speaking with us today, and I can't wait to see what you do next with the Cape Playhouse. We'll be watching. Thank you so much. Of course.